Sorry, Bill, sir. If you look at the history, when the Mandal Commission has proposed the 27% and when it was implemented, I want to remind this August House that our beloved leader, the uh, uh, Nandamuri Tarakara Maraugaru, who has formed the Telugu Desam Party, has played a very crucial role in the implementation of that reservation as he was the chairman of the National Front at that point of time. And in fact, I'm very proud to say, since the inception of Telugu Desam Party till now, after so many decades, we are still standing strong in the Lok Sabha, in the Rajya Sabha, or in our state assemblies. That is all because of a commitment to the upliftment of the OBCs, the uh, social, economic, or political empowerment that the Telugu Desam Party has ensured through its various schemes or various policies that it has implemented over the years has resulted in the betterment of so many communities across the two states of both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana today. And also, sir, this, this bill is kind of a requirement today. It was inevitable. We all know that after the Supreme Court judgment, the center is compelled to bring this because the states have their own rights to recognize the um, uh, underprivileged communities which need that kind of uh, uh, empowerment. And that has been happening ever since, but because of the Supreme Court judgment, this kind of intervention was definitely needed. And I'm very, very glad that the central government, without any delay, has tried to bring it uh, to the House, and it is receiving support across all parties today. And I'm sure this will ensure a lot more success in the upliftment of the OBCs across the country also. But the most and major demand that everyone is also placing, and I also strongly want to associate with that demand, is the caste census, caste-based census. And it has always been there, but for some reason, it didn't happen before. But in the year of 2021, when the central government is taking up the census today, it is definitely required. We have to know what amount of population is there in each caste how each caste is standing in the social fabric of this country. Unless we have those kind of numbers, unless we have the facts, unless we have the figures, we can't ensure there is proper policy making in this country. And that is what we see when we make any kind of policy is actual numbers. We uh, kind of request uh, uh, the government that this is very much a necessity today. So it has to ensure that so, uh, uh, the caste-based census is definitely done in, uh, uh, in the census that's being taken up today. And also, uh, the other uh, issue that I want to mention is the 27% reservation for the OBCs. The central government definitely says that it is committed for the OBCs, and especially this is an addition to that commitment, the bill that is being brought here. But if you have to see the 27% reservation that is today being implemented in the country is not being fully implemented. You check the statistics in different departments of the central government and everywhere, it is not up to 27%. Even the facts today, the real-time data, you would find that it is around 20 or 21%, even that is not clear. So the central government, to make sure that it is showing that commitment in the OBC sector, it has to make sure that the whole 27%, which is already being implemented, needs to be catered totally, sir. So that is something that central government has to uh, is, uh, uh, concentrate on. And also another demand which has been long pending is the creation of separate ministry for the OBCs also. That has also been strongly put forward on many diasporas, many platforms over the years. And I think it is totally possible for this central government to take it. It has created, wherever these ga gaps were there, wherever this lacuna was there, this government identified those kind of places and ensured those effective policy making is being done. And one of that should be the creation of separate OBC ministry, which can take up these kind of issues on a real-time basis. Because every time you can't ensure that a proper bill comes into the parliament and you get the support of everyone, but a ministry, when it is created, the funds being implemented or the policies being implemented, the right kind of schemes to be brought in, it gets even more easier. So the central government should also concentrate on getting the uh, OBC ministry also. And also, we are making separate lists for the states. This bill also strengthens that kind of power. But this shouldn't lead to a, uh, to a point where there are separate lists being uh, uh, done by the states and the center is looking at separate states. Ultimately, we are looking at the same people. We are looking at the same OVCs. We are looking at the same communities. So this bill shouldn't uh, create a differences between the state list and the central list. Obviously, the state list will have a lot more communities, but the center should look at it as in, in tandem. The center should also 
uh, look at all the uh, uh, OBCs uh, that are being listed at the state level and proactively try to create a list at the center level also, which includes those kind of communities which are being left out. Because in my constituency also, I've been commonly, uh, constantly being putting that demand in front of the house, in front of the central government, like communities like Kalinga Vaisya, com communities like Sister Karna, Sondi, Aravala, and many more communities. They're all being recognized as BCs in the state. One minute, I'll complete, sir. They're all being recognized as BCs in the states. And sometimes the state governments are also sending it to the central government to recognize in the OBC list in the center, but they're pending for some reason, sir. There is no proper channel through which this process can be done in a more free and fair manner. So I'm requesting to the central government right now, so whenever a state uh, uh, OBC, uh, a community or a caste needs to be put in the central OBC list, there needs to be a proper channel through which this can be done. So that is one more uh, requirement on behalf of my party I want to place forward, sir. And on top of this, uh, we all are committed. Uh, I know when this bill is being brought up, a lot of people are talking about the elections and all, but we should definitely take this in a positive manner that whenever a step towards OBC's upliftment of OBC's is being done, everyone should wholeheartedly support. And I just want to uh, remind the central government that the job is not yet done. Any step that is being done, we are going to welcome it. But there are still a lot more things need to be done uh, in terms of upliftment of the OBCs. And on behalf of Telugu Desam Party, any step that is taken towards that, we are committed with our support to the central government. With